Nothing there. Nothing there. Hey, where do you come from? Hmm? I've come from the mountains. Exactly, you come from the mountains, and that is bad for you. Very bad. They're looking for you, a whole bunch of evil guys. There's someone here you absolutely have to talk to. Follow me. Who's looking for me? Half of Karinas is after you, and you're trying to tell me that you don't know anything about it? Ah, I see. You just don't want to talk to me about it, hmm? All right, it's your business. So, are you coming or not? Who should I talk to? To my leader. His name is Brago. He can explain everything to you better than I can. So, what about it? Are we going? How do I know this isn't a trap? You know, I'm getting tired of you. If you don't want my help, then just go to the city and let them put you behind bars. You come with me now or forget about it, see? Easy, my friend. Someone else already tried to trick me. Oh? This guy suggested that we should get an amulet together and share the profit. Once we reached our goal, he and his friends attacked me. It sounds as though they got you involved with the wrong people. Where was that? I was a convict in the mining colony. You come from behind the barrier? Man, then we were there together. I don't know you. I was a digger in the old camp. I didn't have much to do with the whole thing. But what is more important now is you are in big trouble. Someone has put a pretty price on your head, and he's handed out a few posters with your mug on them. If I were you, then I would be very, very careful. There are people with us who would kill their own mother for gold. But I think we boys from the penal colony ought to stick together. Then I guess I better thank you now. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Just make sure you stay alive. Is there anything else that might interest me? You mean about the area here? If you want to stay alive, stay on the paths. The farther you go into the wilderness, the more dangerous it is. Can I have the picture? Sure. After all, it's your mug on there. I wouldn't go into the cave up here if I were you. My buddies in there will tan your hide, and they know something about fighting.
Hey, stranger. I saw how you came out of the mountains. You can be glad you didn't come by here three weeks ago. We would have taken you for an escaped convict, and we made short work of those. You look completely done in. What do you want here? I'm on my way to town. The way you look, you'll have to bribe the guys to get in. And you have to know what they want to hear. And that would be? Well, for example, that you're from Lobart's farm and want to go to the smith in the city. But that won't do you any good. You don't look like a farmer. I see. I need better equipment. I can imagine. But I tell you right now, we don't have anything to give away. If you can pay for what you want, Lobart will sell you something. Otherwise, go to him and ask him if he has work for you. Where can I find Lobart? Well, on the farm, of course. The farm belongs to him. And don't try messing with him. He's thrashed a lot of tramps and thrown them off his farm. There's another of those scummy beasts. One less monster around. Why are you hanging around on my land? Whose side are you on? The rebelling farmers or the king? I'm for the king. For the king? <laughs> That's what the city guard said when they took half my sheep. But where are those bastards when we have to keep the bandits off our backs? Where will they be when the orcs invade us? I'll tell you, in the city, behind thick walls. So leave me alone with the king. What's going on here anyway? Don't you know what's going on? Boy, where are you from? We're on the edge of a civil war. Up till now, all the farmers looked at the tribute to the city as fair taxation. But since the paladins have come to Corinus, the city guards visit us more and more often. And little by little, they're taking everything. If it goes on like this, soon we won't have anything left for ourselves. Some farmers are starting to rebel. Onar was the first of them. I need some sensible clothes. I can give you clean farmer's work clothes. Can you pay for them then? Well, you could work off a part of the price if you're someone who is looking for work. I'm looking for work. I can't use another farm hand, but I could offer some work to a day laborer. Well, what I mean is you can lend a hand in the field, and there are certainly a few other things to do around here. I could pay you with gold or give you a few decent things to wear. The things are worth a fair bit. I can't give them to you for nothing, but I can sell them to you cheap if you work for me. By the looks of you, I should say, take the clothes. Anyway, the small turnip field next to the barn needs to be harvested. All right. Then hurry it up a bit before I change my mind. Here are your turnips. Hey, you're not all that worthless after all. Take them to my wife in the house and tell her to cook them. What about my pay? Well, I can give you five gold pieces. Or sell you the clothes cheaper. Well, what's it to be? Make me a better price for the togs. Good. 
I'll give them to you for 10 gold pieces less. Have you got anything else for me to do? I don't. But you can ask my wife or the boys in the fields. Maybe they need some help. Hey, I've got a few turnips here for you. Great. That should be enough to fatten those guys up. Since you're here anyway, I saw a traveling trader pass by here a few minutes ago. I think he stopped on his way to town. Go to him and see whether he's got a decent frying pan for me. Give me the gold and I'll go see the merchant for you. Are you saying I can trust you? Just don't spend the money on booze, do you hear? Who do we have here? You're on your way to the city. Am I not right? Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> you look like a fugitive. All fugitives are headed for the city. You could even be a former convict for the mining colony. I don't care where you come from, but I believe I have an interesting offer for you. What do you have to offer? The way you look, the guards will never let you into the city. I can help you get into the city. I have here a small piece of paper with the royal seal and the governor's signature. A pass. With this scrap of paper in your pocket, you can run about as raggedly as you please, and the guards will leave you alone. Interested? There must be a catch to this. No, no catch. You will merely owe me a favor. Now, keep your paper. Hmm, I seem to have misjudged you, huh? Well, do you want something else? Uh, can I interest you in my wares? Show me your wares. Take your pick. I've got to go. Suit yourself. Hey, you! Here's your frying pan. Fine. Let's see then whether it's any good. Can you give me something to eat? You can come back for more tomorrow. Hey! How much for the work clothes? Well, we'll see. 
You've worked the field for me. You helped my wife. Sixty gold pieces. Well, that's still too expensive. Well, suit yourself. Nothing to plunder. How? Are you one of the hands on Lobart's farm? I never seen you here. I haven't been with Lobart for long. What you want in the city? I want to see the blacksmith to have some tools repaired. Okay, fine. In you go then. And if you see Lobart, you can tell him he should feed his sheep well. We're coming back to him shortly. <laughs> Halt, stranger. I am Lothar, paladin of the king and humble servant of Innos, your lord. Our commander, Lord Hagen, has entrusted me with the task of explaining to all newcomers the new laws which apply to all inhabitants of the city. But he knew that all along. I've got to go. Wait! You don't know the new laws of the city yet. Later. Hey, you, wait. Uh, you look familiar to me. What do you want? I've seen your face before somewhere, right? Here. We found this picture on some bandits we picked up a few days ago. It looks a lot like you. Apparently, those guys were looking for you. I'm not telling you anything. No, you've got to be mistaken. Everything's fine with me. Whatever you say, stranger. But if that happens to be your mug after all, and if you have some problems, keep them outside of this town. 
Things are difficult enough here as it is. And strangers who bring trouble into the city don't stay here long. I hope I make myself clear. Halt! Only the citizens of the town and the king's troops can get into the upper end of the town. I'm a respected citizen of Corinus. Let me pass. You are the dirt under my fingernails. Make yourself scarce. Nobody ever asked for my opinion. Halt! Only the citizens of the town and... Couldn't we make an exception? What? There are rules in this town. Rules that apply to everyone without exception. If we let you break those rules, it would be unfair towards all those who obey them. Everybody knows by now. You listen to the wrong people. Welcome to my shop, stranger. I am Bosper. I craft bows and trade in furs. Hey, what brings you to Corinus? I need to get into the upper quarter. Where the paladins are? Forget it. You need to be a respected citizen here, or at least hold a decent job. As a stranger, you stand no chance of getting in. So I noticed. That's not what I heard. I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. The last one just gave up his job two days ago. Do you know anything about hunting then? Well... I could teach you how to skin animals. I'll pay you well for every skin you bring me. What if I want to sign on with one of the other masters? Uh, Balderdash. Harrod and Matteo already have apprentices. Constantino the Alchemist is a loner, and as for Thorben, everyone knows he's dead broke. I, on the other hand, am in urgent need of an apprentice. And I pay well, too. But no matter where you want to sign on, you need the approval of all other masters from the lower part of town. Will I get your approval to sign up with a different master? Uh, all right. You shall have my approval, but on one condition. Work for me, at least for a short time. That way, you can find out for yourself whether you like my craft or not. And who knows? Maybe you'll end up liking it, and you'll stay with me. If you're good enough to sign on with me, you're also good enough for all others here. What do you want me to do for you? I will teach you how to skin an animal, and you will bring me, let's say, half a dozen wolf skins. Then I'll know that you have learned your trade. If it doesn't take you forever, and if the skins are in acceptable condition, I will take you on if you like. Or, uh, you can start with one of the other masters. Show me your wares. created was destroyed by Belia. Enos, be with you, stranger. What brings you to me? I've got an important message for Lord Hagen. Well, you stand before one of his men. What is this about? The hosts of orcs are led by Dra- I know that the armies of the orcs are growing ever stronger. 
You don't have to tell me that is what you wish to report to Lord Hagen. He would tear your head from your shoulders if you wasted his time with such stories. And I'm sure that you're clever enough to know that for yourself. So what is this really about? It's about a sacred artifact, the Eye of Innos. The Eye of Innos. I have never heard of it, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. If there truly is an artifact of this name, only the highest members of our order would know anything about it. In any case, that's why I have to talk to Lord Hagen himself. Lord Hagen receives only paladins, or those who are in the service to paladins. It is beneath his dignity to waste his time with members of the common folk. By reason of the imminent danger of an attack by orcs, each inhabitant of the city is to prepare himself accordingly. Everyone is to begin training in the skills of combat immediately and to arm himself appropriately. There, where Adonis stood, was a place in which Enos and Beliar had no power. And it's going to get even worse. I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. I am Hacker, the weapons dealer. Every man should carry a weapon these days, especially when venturing outside of the city walls. Show me your wares. gonna get even worse. He simply talks too much. I don't believe that. He simply talks too much. Someone's gonna do the work. Of time. Who says things like that? That's an open secret. He had better shot. That's an open secret. I don't believe that. That's not what I heard. And he works all day. Too. Really? How interesting. Hey you. I have a proposition for you. What do you want? I want my old stall in the marketplace back. Sarah snatched it away from me. But she has had that spot long enough. I want her to give up the stall. And what's my part in this? I will give you a letter to stick in her pocket. Then you go to Andre and tell him that Sarah is selling weapons to Onar. She lands in prison. You pocket the bounty and I get the stall. You have two days to accomplish this. What's in it for me? When I have the stall, you will get a weapon from me, and a damned good one. That's what I've always said. I don't believe that. What will happen if I refuse to do that? That would be truly stupid of you, because you see, I know that you're an escaped convict. If that gets around, it could do considerable harm to your situation in the city. Who says things like that? Everybody knows by now. All right, looks like I've got no choice. You're a clever lad. Here is the letter. How am I supposed to force the letter on her? Let her show you her wares. And while she does, you hide the letter on her. And bear in mind, I am an influential man in the city. So don't try to play me for a fool. That's what I've always said. But that's terrible. I've got to go. Suit yourself. Explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. By reason of the imminent danger of an attack by orcs, each inhabitant of the city is to prepare himself accordingly. Everyone is to begin training. with 
you completely. Anything possible? Hey, I don't know you. What do you want it's here? Are possible. you headed for the tavern? As if I didn't have enough problems. Yes, do you mind? You've got no business here, Rut. That's totally obvious. Calm down. All I want to do is drink a beer. Okay, but it'll cost you 50 gold pieces to get in. Forget it. You won't get a single coin. Exactly then I'll take everything you have. As soon as you're lying on the ground in front of me. Ah. Ah. Hit him. Not bad. Gold. Okay, that's mine for starters. I wouldn't. I think I'll take your weapon for safekeeping. Don't tell me you didn't know that. You already know what I think. It's a bad business. Do you really believe that? Give me something to drink. How are things? If you want something to drink, you'll have to order it. I bet you overhear a lot of things. So what's that to you? I've always got an open ear for news. Have you got your purse open then? Every I... piece of information I give you will cost 10 gold pieces. I'll give you no more than five for your information. What? Five gold pieces? Are you trying to ruin me? Let's make it seven. Okay, seven gold pieces sounds fair. A wise decision. Well, so if there's anything you want to know, ask me. I need information. Where can I find work? You're not likely to find work down here at the harbor. You need to go to the craftsman in the lower part of town for that. But if you wield a decent blade, you could go challenge Ulrich. He fights for gold behind the warehouse. Is there any special work to be had around here, where I could make some quick money? Something special, you say? Hmm. Go talk to Nagur, then. Maybe he can help you. Cardiff says you may have a job for me. Well, well. So you're looking for a special job. Okay, but we play by my rules, understood? What does that mean? That means you do what I say and you get a third of the profits. If you don't like it, then there's no job. We're business partners, so it's 50-50. Okay, I thought I'd give it a shot. Of course, we'll split our profits fairly. All right, what's your plan? You know the merchant Baltram, don't you? If not, it's time you talk to him. This Baltram has a messenger who supplies him with goods from Akil's farm. That is, he had a messenger. Until I cut his throat. And now Baltram has to get a new one. And that will be you. Your job is to get hired by Baltram and fetch the delivery from Akil. You bring it to me and then I'll set it on to an interested customer. He'll fork over a tidy little sum for it. And just don't try selling the stuff yourself. Have you got all that? When should I talk to Baltram? You can go right away. He should know by now that his messenger won't be showing up anymore. <laughs> 
<laughs> How much will the profit be? I can't say exactly, but I estimate around 400 gold pieces. Well then, I'm all set. Good. Then get in your way. But if you try to cheat me, you'll soon be every bit as dead as the messenger. Don't forget. There have been all kinds of rumors. I agree with you completely. Why haven't I heard about this before? You looking for a job? Sure. What's it about? My errand boy hasn't come back, and I'm waiting for a delivery from the farmer Akil. And how much is it worth to you? I'll give you 50 gold pieces. Fine, I'm in. Okay. Just tell Akil that I sent you. He'll give you a package. Bring it to me. Hey, hey, not so fast. Strolling about alone out here is dangerous. Where do you come from? From one of the farms. A farmer, eh? Hmm. Then you shouldn't be walking along these dangerous paths all by yourself. Who knows who might be lying in wait for you?
know what I think. It had to happen sooner or later. Well, I could have told you that before. Hey! I couldn't care. Hey, that. Yoko! Have you lost your way? Go back you to your field to and pull up a few turnips. You don't have to tell Whatever me. it is that brought you here, you had better forget it and hit the road. Everything all right? Mm, as soon as anyone says anything wrong around here, the dance starts. So watch your step or there'll be a slaughter. Will you join the fight? I'm not just going to stand here when the ruckus starts, but I'm not going to push it either. He should have known better. Hey! Those cutthroats are threatening my husband. We are citizens of the town, loyal to the king, and the mercenaries are planning to rob us. Now don't you just stand there, do something, help us. I don't want to hear that anymore. And there's more, believe me. Nothing's going to change about that. It was his decision, wasn't it? Just stay away from me with that magic of yours. You're oh in for a you son of a bitch! I'm gonna whip you to... Yes! Run as fast as you can! As you can! So much for you, low life. Thanks for the gold, you hero. I think. Thank Innes. I thought my time had run out. My name is Akio. I've farmed this humble piece of land. Who were those people? Those were mercenaries from Onar's farm. Those bastards don't know anything but plunder and murder. I'd been fearing the worst. Well, thank Innes it didn't come to that. Tell me, what can I do for you? Nothing. Just as long as you got through this all right. You're an exceptional fella. May Innes guard you on your way. Baltram sent me. I'm supposed to pick up a shipment for him here. So, you're his new messenger. Okay, I've already made up the package. I've gotta go. So long. I really wish I could have done more for you.
It's all just gossip. Why haven't I heard about this before? I brought the package. Well done. I'll see to it that I sell it. Come back tomorrow. You hardly know who to believe these days. Nothing's ever gonna change. Some problems solve themselves. I've got my own opinion That's about that. Huh? Nobody ever asks me. I can't believe that. I don't believe it. The bastard's running around in my clothes. You should be making yourself useful around here, not sniffing around in my house, you lazy bum. You give me back my clothes right now. Forget it. I'll teach you, buddy. Filthy thief, just you wait. Stop right there, you lowlife! 